Baz just showed me the one of our plum trees, which is like in full bloom now. Absolutely beautiful. Can you see? And I don't know if you can hear. But I'm gonna put the. Can you hear that? That. I hope you can hear that, but that's like all the, the busy bees at work. So they're like taking their pollen and gonna impollinate everything. And oh, it's just so beautiful. So today guys, I am actually gonna be working on um, planting my bulbs. Planting my bulbs, my bulbs. I went a bit nuts. I just bought like loads of them. And having like a, oh crap. Having like one of those lazy days today. I've been we've been had we've had guests, we've been doing so much work and I'm just feeling like ugh, a bit tired today. And it's probably a lot of sun on me. I'm gonna stay down here a second. So today I'm gonna be planting uh a steel bay, hostas, gladiolas, gladiolus, um what was the other one? Tricolore tri tritilata. Why are the names so exotic and complicated? So Leatus Picata and Gladiolus Espresso. What a gorgeous Bordeaux colour. And these are just stunning. I love the leaves on this. On this plant, I think they remind me of... There's a plant called Equisitium, I think it's called, or a horsetail. It's like a herb, you can have it as tea and stuff. But I think the leaves kind of remind me of that. And then the tops just look a bit like lupini. I don't know if you know that plant as well. Gladiolus. I know you can get these in shitload of colors, but when I saw this, I was just like, oh, I love them. And I love the fact they're just such big bulbs. So easy to plant. Look at onion. Okay, so I'm gonna put these, I think some of them in the garden in the border and some of them in a vase just because i think it'll be quite cool right let's go the bulbs of these can you see they're not huge but they're not actually tiny either which is good and i know that the bottom side you know with no root system is going to be at the bottom and this bit is going to be at the top i think this is where my little baby's going to come out of okay so let's get a vase this one will do again i'm in a bigger one actually why not Right, so, take some dirt out. You know what, I changed my mind guys. There's not that many here, it actually looks like, you know, if I was to fill a little piece in the garden, I'm not even sure they would come up that much, so I'm going to keep them in the, the pot. But I can already see, hopefully you can see that. This little baby's coming up, they're already here, there we are, so easily done. Bottom side down and this green sprouting is going to go up. So I'm going to put them in here in this vase and Bob's your uncle. That is how we do it. 